Hi Pisces, I hope you're doing well. Welcome to your week ahead reading. So whenever you're watching this video, it'll cover the next roughly seven to 10 days. Again, keep an open mind, take what resonates, disregard the rest, don't force anything to fit. And let's see what we're getting for you Pisces. What's going on for Pisces at the time they watch this reading, what's coming up for them in the next seven to 10 days. Looking forward to your comments and your feedback as always. And thank you in advance for your likes and your shares for subscribing. And thank you for all your donations as well. Okay, Eight of Pentacles didn't quite jump out. Strength, two eights. Okay, let's see. I don't know what's going on. Four of Cups, King of Swords. I'm getting an iffy energy. Like, um, hmm, like someone trying to play catch up with you when you've already kind of just given up on something. I don't know. Let's see. What's going on for Pisces in the next seven to ten days? What do they need to know? All right. So we will be looking at this could be roughly Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, if you wanted to look at it that way. Again, just keep an open mind, okay? This is like divine timing we're working with. Midweek, so I don't know, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday-ish, and then end of the week, Friday, Saturday, Sunday-ish. Okay, bottom of the deck, Three of Cups. This is celebration. This is a focus on your social life. Um, it could be dating, it could be meeting new people, it could be hanging out with a lot of different people this week, joining a new club, a new community. That could be going on. Um, it's celebration energy, so being celebrated, being recognized within a team, a group, or a community. Celebrating um, initial results in a situation. Okay, let's keep going. So, as we're coming into the week. What do we have? Okay, we have the Four of Wands, the Ten of Cups, okay, and the Queen of Swords. Um, okay, I'm just going to tell you all the scenarios that I'm getting because these could be just specific messages. Uh, different storylines that are going to be coming out okay for some of you what I'm seeing is someone turning up at your door with the four of wands coming to your home or coming to your place of business for some sort of reunion or reconciliation um, with the three of cups and the ten of cups and with the queen of swords you're not necessarily impressed with this I feel like this is it feels like someone's trying to cross a boundary that you may have put up this could be where you've recently broken up with someone and they're you made it very clear you're not interested in talking to them any further and yet here they are they turn up at your door or they turn up at your work or they turn up at your school or they turn up at your gym right and you're going what the hell I told you I'm not a like I told you this is done we're not doing this again right uh, for others of you there was a falling out recently or further back with a family member with a friend but again, you see how that energy of you put up a boundary with something, you said that's it, no, not interested, and yet they're turning up. And I don't know, I feel like they're getting other people involved for some of you to where you look like the <laughs> a-hole, pardon my French, for saying no to them. I don't know why I'm getting that. But this is like, they're going around telling everyone I'm going to win Pisces back, and everyone's so supportive because they don't know what went down, right? They just think this person's trying to be romantic and do some sort of grand gesture. They're going, I'm going to get Pisces back, and they're getting all these people involved, and they're throwing you like a surprise something to where there's that aspect of, I want to go off on you right now, but there's the, all these other people. They don't know what's been going on. I feel like I, you know, there's that kind of aspect to it. Hmm. For others of you, this is signing a contract to do with a new home, to do with a new job or a promotion and making it official and celebrating and that's all that is. I also see a scenario if you've recently started going out or um, 
even dating someone or something, they could be talking about something more serious, more committed to where you're saying, listen, I'm happy with how things are. You may have to just have that kind of conversation with someone. But there's some sort of sobering, clarifying conversation. All right, let's keep going. Midweek Pisces. Okay, we have the Emperor. If I see the Emperor and the Empress in this reading, Pisces, I'm going to lose my fluff because <laughs> they keep coming out. Okay, we have the Hangman. Another major. So Aries energy, Pisces energy. And the Wheel of Fortune. So midweek is very significant for you, Pisces. For something changing, for something turning around, for something changing for the better. Allowing something to change is also what I'm seeing here. I feel like for some of you, you're breaking free from something. You're moving away from something. You're making an executive decision because they didn't want to work with you. They didn't want to treat you properly. They didn't want to give you what you wanted and deserved whoever they may be in your life, and you're taking your hands off the situation, you're saying, I'm done, okay? And you're, you're wanting that wheel to turn. You're saying, I want something else. I want something different. Could also be a case for some of you that some information comes out at some sort of reunion, whether that's friends, family, work event. Something comes out, and it's to do with the change. It's to do with or you're being, there's an announcement made that you didn't know of to where it benefits you somehow. It's this person's leaving and actually Pisces, we didn't really get a chance to talk to you about it yet, but we were thinking you taking their place. What do you think? That kind of situation. But something that has been it's either been stuck or you haven't been aware of this, been going on behind the scenes, is now coming to the surface to develop, to unfold. Let's keep going. Towards the end of the week, yeah, look, the Five of Cups. The Six of Cups. And the King of Cups. Pisces, what I feel like here is going back to that scenario that I saw for those of you where that applies, where you're breaking away from something or someone, pursuing something better for yourself, something different, something new. And I feel like whatever it is you're trying to leave behind is not going to let you go that easily. But I get this energy of they don't necessarily want to improve things with you. They don't necessarily want to do any better. They just don't want things to change. Do you know what I mean? And I feel like you've had enough of this because it's been this way for quite some time. High Priestess. The Knight of Cups. Page of Cups. And Ten of Swords. Yeah. With the Four of Cups. This is... Um, Queen of Wands is here as well. This is a situation where you've given something many chances. You've given something a lot of time and a lot of different opportunities to step up, to do right by you, to treat you better, to treat you fairly. And they just haven't. I don't know what to tell you. They just haven't. This is someone who makes promises. Page of Cups and the Knight of Cups make promises, but they don't actually put in the work. They don't actually deliver. They talk big. They don't do much about it. They make promises they never keep. This is someone all about... Yeah, they just, they, either they swept away, they get swept away and they make promises and then it's like reality hits and they go, well, I can't do that. And you're sitting there thinking, but you promised. And well, you know, there was a lot going on. One thing led to another. It's that kind of person. And you just, you just can't rely on them. And you've been waiting to see what they do and ended up withdrawing from the situation with the Ten of Swords with the Queen of Wands there's something else for you. There's something else external to this whole dynamic that you really want to go towards. But you can't do that until you clear this energy, you clear this out. Okay, but I feel like this week, Pisces, you're not messing, you're not playing games with the Emperor, the Hangman, and the Wheel of Fortune with the King of Cups. Okay, male or female, doesn't matter. You're saying, listen, this is done. 
I'm moving on. I don't want this. I'm done. And there's going to be a, an attempt from this person at some sort of gathering or they're getting other people involved who don't know what's been going on to where it looks like they're trying to be romantic or it looks like they're trying to do this grand gesture to where people are supportive of that, right? Because whatever, don't get me started. Um, like no one actually pauses to ask, but what happened? Because if Pisces walked away from you, something happened there. No one actually pauses to ask the question, you know what I mean? It, it could be this person where they just have the gift of the gab and they just get everyone involved or they're lying to people. You know, they don't want to tell them they messed up. They don't want to tell them they're not doing right by you. They just, they make it like they're trying to do something good. It could be that. I don't know. Um, and then you're going to, they're banking on the fact that you're not going to want to look like the bad guy to say no to them in front of all these people. But you know what? They're going to be sorely disappointed with the five of cups and the six of cups. Because you're going to go, listen, you want to get other people involved? Okay. What have they told you people? Because this is what's gone on. This is why I left. This is why I quit. This is why I don't want this. Okay? Someone's trying to force your hand and for, force you to stay in a situation by getting other people involved and lying to those people about what happened or not even tell, telling them what happened. I feel like it ticks you off because it ticks me off right now. Because with the Ten of Swords and the Four of Cups, this could be the perpetual victim in your life. And you're trying to get this person to just help themselves and they just don't want to do it. They, but it's like, I don't want to do better, but I don't want you to leave, Pisces. I don't want to treat you right, but I don't want you to leave me. So you're like, what, are you, what the hell? Right? And I'm seeing this across, like, whatever, wherever. For a lot of you, it will be a romantic relationship. For others of you, this is going on at work with that manager that keeps making promises and never delivers. And then they're doing a little... Uh, party for you or a little um if not necessarily party they're praising you in front of everyone else to where if then you told everyone that you just quit or you told everyone that you want to quit you look like the bad guy and everyone goes oh my god pisces you're so ungrateful look at them they just said all these nice things about you but they don't know all the backstabbing that has happened they don't know all the empty promises that this person has made to you they don't know what went down between you and this this manager or this co-worker or for those of you this is family Because I'm seeing a lot of moons in these cards. So this is something that other people don't know you've been dealing with when it comes to this person. And they're banking on the fact that you're, you don't want people to know. What the hell, Pisces? What is this? Okay. If, you're, <laughs> if you know what this is, comment and let me know, please. But whatever this is, you're breaking away. You're breaking free. I feel like this is the absolute last straw. I feel like you just lose... lose okay lose it when it comes to this person and in front of other people you're going what 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 did they tell you what they tell you how'd they get you to do this because I, i'm about to tell you what really happened i'm about to tell you what really went down this could be someone with the ten of swords where they really messed up like either, either they stole from you they cheated on you they betrayed your confidence and told everyone your secrets or um they cost you money somehow, they messed up real bad and they you kind of forced you to fix it somehow, I don't know, but it's something that has been ongoing, ongoing. And they're going around people to people, again, looking like they're trying to do something nice for you because they're an amazing person. And either no one asked them what the hell happened to get you to walk away or they lie to these people. I wanna to propose to Pisces. And everyone hears proposal and they go, oh, that's such a beautiful thing, right? <laughs> Do you know what, for some of you, for some of you, because you're not talking about this, you haven't told other people that you broke up with this person and what they did and why. And they know that. I don't know, I don't know, it's a bit, it's a bit of a weird message, but they know that. And so they're trying to take advantage of the fact that you haven't told people that you broke up and you haven't told people what they did to kind of spin it around and make you look like the bad guy if you don't accept their gesture. Okay, if you're dealing with someone who's a bit delusional, be careful, be, be firm, be clear. I feel like it is a situation where you're just gonna have to make it known exactly what went down. Because otherwise this person won't quit. This person won't quit. 
they're counting on the fact that you don't want to talk about it. To you, it's a case of it's no one else's business. There's no point, you know, telling everyone what this person did to me. I made my peace with it. It's done. But this person is trying to take, take advantage of the fact that you don't want to talk about it to keep you in it. I don't, what the hell, man? Okay. Okay. Now, for others of you, I'm seeing a move happening, potentially after some sort of uh, something falling, falling through, falling apart in the past because of someone backstabbing you. It eventually goes through. It's gonna be a different property for some of you, this is family uh, interfering for you this week with what it is that you're trying to do. Um, I'm seeing something around the family home. I'm seeing something being revealed about, you know, you thought everyone was working together in a situation. It turns out not really. You were doing the work, they were taking advantage, and there's a walking away. There's a release. There's a walking away. There's a, I am done with this. Pisces, this is something that has been going on for a long time. Okay? Four of Cups, Ten of Swords, Six of Cups, Ten of Cups. This is something that has been going on for a long time. And it is breaking point. It is final straw. We're saying, I am so done with this. I don't even care. I'm done. I'm just done. Because this person, I don't know what their deal is. I don't know what their problem is, but... I don't know if you're dealing with someone with a bit of a drinking problem. I don't even know if you're dealing with someone who's just codependent and have latched on to you and refused to let you go. But this is someone you've been protecting somehow. Actively protecting and fixing their messes and bailing them out and not telling everyone because they have a reputation or an image to uphold and you've been kind of protecting that for them. Um, or it's a case of you're just, you haven't, talked about it. You haven't told people the mess that they are. You haven't told people what they get themselves into. Protecting them somehow, okay? And now this person is trying to take advantage of that. Pisces won't talk about it because somehow they think you'll be embarrassed by what they did. Do you know what I mean? Somehow they think you'll be embarrassed by what they did to you to the point where you're not telling anyone because you look bad for something they did. Do you see what I mean? This person is a little delusional. I don't know what, I don't know. But, um, yeah. I hear complicit. I don't know if they're, this is someone telling you, you're complicit. If you talk about it, you're gonna go down too. Because they were doing something and because you didn't report them or you didn't tell on them or you didn't, um, you know, blast it from the rooftops. Hey, this is what this person's doing, whoever they may be around you. They're saying you're, you're complicit. If you talk about it, if you tell everyone, you'll be a part of it. You'll go down for it too. Something along those lines. And you're saying, you know what? Whatever. Whatever the consequence is, I don't care. I'm out. I'm done. Don't talk to me. Don't look me. Don't whatever. But this is someone who's trying to force your hand. They don't respect the fact that you're trying to keep quiet about what happened for their benefit, by the way. And they're trying to force your hand with other people or uh, what other people are gonna think or what other people are gonna believe. And I feel like that just pushes you over the line and you go, you know what? Let me tell you exactly what's up. Everyone gather around let me tell you what's been going on. Because this is, for others of you, this is someone that's been going around playing victim. Okay, oh my God, I lost Pisces. I don't know what to do. You know, but they're not talking about what, the, what they did, the extent of what they did. They're not telling people. They're just saying either they're lying to people or they're not telling them exactly what they did. Because no one would help this person if they knew exactly what it is they did to you, Pisces. They'd be like, listen, don't even, don't even look at Pisces' direction. How dare you do that to Pisces? So they're not going to talk about it or they'll lie about it. 
and people around because there's community in these cards mutual friends family people working there people who know the both of you or everyone involved in the situation could, could be a group for some of you okay And they're trying to help. They, they think they're helping this person make peace with you. They think they're helping this person make amends with you. They think they're helping the two of you come back together because there's been just some sort of miscommunication and it can be resolved. And, you know, because they're lying or they're not talking about it. Practicality and originality flew out. You could be dealing with the Capricorn. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. But there's this, this aspect of you doing the work and someone taking advantage or you um, yeah, something along those lines. Someone scheming. Someone strategizing. idealism sweeping sweeping people away lying talking about something as if it's not as bad as it sounds or I don't know there's some illusion here someone playing victim okay. what else does Pisces need to know here But Pisces, I know you've been trying to keep this quiet. I know you've been trying to keep this a secret because A, it's no one's business. B, there's no point throwing mud at this person. Okay, you just want to walk away. You just want to walk away clean, but they're not letting you. And they're taking advantage of the fact that you don't want to talk about it. Despite the fact that it's for their benefit that you don't want to talk about. Do you see what I mean? You're trying to, even in leaving this situation, you're still trying to protect this person's image. And that's what they're taking advantage of. And they're about to have a rude awakening because you're about to go, you know what? Okay. You got everyone else involved. What, is, what have they told you that happened here? So there's something that's going to be coming out, Pisces. Because this, push, this, this person is pushing you too far. It's ridiculous. Look at it. We have secrets, loss, and charity. I'm telling you. This is someone you've been giving to, looking after, protecting, fixing their messes. And they're trying to keep you from going, keeping their secrets. bluff a lot of illusion in these cards a, a lot of they're bluffing with you Pisces and they're not gonna win they're you're gonna call you're calling this person's bluff you're gonna call this person's bluff because because they, they're taking it too far they could do the reasonable thing and just let you go because they sure as hell won't treat you better right they could do the fair thing and just let you go. And yet they choose not to do that. They choose to manipulate. They choose to get other people involved. Thinking peer pressure is going to get you to get go back to them, take them back, accept their gesture in front of other people because it's in front of other people. So you have to. Do you see what I mean? And you're going to call their bluff. You're going to go listen. You know what? What have they told you? Let me tell you what's up. Let me tell you why I left. Let me tell you exactly what's going on. Generosity, indecision. Control. Lust. You're dealing with someone who's just, I don't know what's wrong with them, but it just, it just needs to stop. We have patience. We have influence. We have caution, adaptability, control with extremism, and ostentation. 
Mm. I'm telling you, this is someone trying to control you, control the situation, prevent you from leaving. And they're banking on the fact that you're not going to want to talk about the mess that's been going on because it'll make you look bad. But they're forgetting that they're the ones that caused all the mess. But somehow they're thinking, no, it'll make you look bad. So Pisces, you won't say anything. It'll make you look bad too, you know. So they're not going to talk about it. You don't want to look bad, so therefore you're not even going to talk at all about the situation. Even though I'm the one that made the mess, you know? And you're not going to tell people, I cheated on you 50 million times, because that will make you look bad. Who is this person? Hmm. You're not going to tell people that you gave me money. Because that'll make you look bad. Because you were stupid to do so. So you're not going to talk about it. You're not going to tell people that you took money from the family fund to pay for my fines. Because that'll make you look bad. Oh. I really feel like it's not going to go well for this person. The hermit, <clears throat> the world, you're done, yeah. I really, okay, that's it. That's all, I'm, that's, I'm, okay. I'm just going to repeat myself if I keep going. So the bottom line, Pisces, is there's been a situation in your life where you've been protecting someone, and that means not ousting them. If, if, if not actively protecting them, c covering their messes, cleaning up after them, not telling people that how badly they're treating you not telling people about their bad behavior because for you it's like well it's no one's business but also there's no point hurting damaging their reputation you know because they keep telling you they'll do better they keep telling you they'll try harder they keep telling you you know give me another chance forgive me and give me another chance and you have been right or give me more time Pisces I'm working on this for you but in the meantime you give and give and give and sacrifice and sacrifice and sacrifice and now they're going around Pisces you're not going to tell people about all the promises I've made you because you look like a fool because you believed me in the first place mm -hmm. I don't like this person but you know what you're going to call their bluff and you're going to go okay you, you want to get people involved okay well, let's tell people what's been going on. And then all these people can make up their own minds about whether or not they want to be here and whether or not they want to help you or how they really feel about me. So, yikes. Yikes. Because they don't want to lose access to you. That's what it is. But they got to go. They got to go. you're waking up to something okay you're waking up to the fact that you know what they're never gonna stop or they're never gonna change or they're never gonna keep their promise because whatever they did before they're doing it again okay whatever they did before several times this is not the first time they're doing this they're doing it again and I feel like that was the last straw for you you have something else that's, a, that's waiting for you with the Queen of Wands something else someone else a different offer a different opportunity that's waiting for you we have to cut yourself off of this cluster F, okay, shift course with the two of wands. And you might be having that conversation earlier in, in the week with this person. You might have already had this conversation. And so that's why coming into the week, this is what's up. Because with the five of swords and the five of wands, okay, they're going to go... on the offensive but you're be you'll you'll call their bluff okay that's what i'm seeing here so i'm just going to leave it there um again this is not going to be for everyone but if you do resonate with the message please let me know 
who is this person in your life that's just latched onto you and is delusional to think that you're not going to talk about what they did to you because it'll make you look bad. And they're getting other people involved. They're getting other people involved. They're putting you in the spotlight somehow to where if you said no to them, you look bad. Because they're counting on the fact that you're not going to tell everyone what has been going on. All right, so they're about to get a rude awakening, Pisces, because you're going, you know what? F it, I've had enough. You want to you get people involved? Let's get them all the way involved. Five of Swords energy, let's do this. Fine, let's do this. I tried doing this gracefully, but you don't know what that is, so fine. Let's do this your way then. Let's get everyone involved. Okay, let's talk about it. So you're... You may have a bit of a difficult week, Pisces, but it needs to happen. It needs to be done because otherwise this person is never going to let you go. This person is never going to release you. This person is never going to, they'll keep scheming. They'll keep trying to get close to you. They'll keep sacrificing, no, not sac sabotaging, causing you to sacrifice and sabotaging any other type of opportunity. If this is someone who's been spreading lies about you, you're taking them head on this week because you got proof, you got receipts. You just didn't want to do that because you knew how bad they were going to look. You knew what that would do to their image and their reputation. And so again, even in leaving this situation, you were still trying, if not to protect them, but at least not to do damage to them. So it's like, let's just go our separate ways in peace. You do you, I do me. No one needs to know what you did. No one needs to know what happened, okay? And this, in, instead of being grateful, they're taking advantage of that. They're trying to use your own kind nature against you. So they're about to get the flip side and Queen of Swords be like, okay, you wanna get people involved? Let's get people involved. Gather around everyone, I'm about to tell you a story. Whole truth and nothing but the truth. Calling this person's bluff. Okay, so Pisces, good luck to you. Don't hold back. You owe this person nothing. Their actions are their actions. The fact that you chose to show this person grace and patience, that is nothing on you. There is nothing on you, Pisces. You see what I mean? This sort of situation is going to say a lot more about this person than it is going to say about you. All right, whatever they think is going to happen and whatever kind of mud they think was going to be thrown at you if you talk about what happened all that mud is going to go on them because that's where it belongs people are people aren't stupid they just don't know the truth okay and they're taking advantage of the people and you because they're getting other people involved that's very clear here flat out lying to these people about what it is that happened so you look like the bad guy if you say no to them. You look like the bad guy if you push them away. So Pisces, you know what? It's time to let loose, okay? It's time to let loose. Speak some truth. Lay it on them. And then people will make their own decisions. And you know what? Actually, it will lift a burden off of you as well. The burden of secrets. The burdens of secrecy. For someone who is just a piece of work okay could be some sort of a test for some of you could be some sort of a a lesson in speaking up and standing up for yourself and putting up boundaries and making things known and making things clear because with Pisces it is about diplomacy and, and secrecy and you know if this doesn't need to be aired out it's, it's fine don't worry about it um, kind of glossing over things and you know let's just make sure everyone sees the good and everything and it is a Pisces thing because of, of the kind nature right but sometimes Pisces you got to know to call a duck a duck in front of other people so everyone knows that's a duck okay that ain't no swan <laughs> no offense to ducks or swans or anything I'm just saying okay so you can tell the difference A leech is a leech and it needs to be called out because 
it's leeching off of you despite you trying to walk away all right I'm gonna leave this here stay tuned for your next reading good luck with this you don't owe them a damn thing Pisces so you just speak your truth get it all off your chest and uh, you'll come out shining don't you even worry about that okay so I'll leave it there have a good week I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.